Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today we are going to take a look at accessories that you can get even if you are a free to play player. And basically I started making those free to play videos because I often see free to play players say that they cannot get cool stuff because they are free to play players. So today let us show some cool stuff you can get even if you are a free to play player. Even if you did not spend a single red cent playing this universe online, you can still get some good stuff. So let, get, let us get started with the Supplier Sibyl, right next to the Atlantis Portal. So the first accessory we'll look at is the Constricting Eels. You can get it for 150 Source Marks. This is the very first accessory we got. Uh, we got it briefly as an aura when it was first released, but uh, once they decided to give us accessories, this became the very first accessory in this universe online, and everyone can get this accessory if they pay 150 Source Marks. Doesn't matter if you're a free-to-play player, a premium player, or a legendary player, everyone can purchase this, this accessory. And the Constricting Eels is one of the few accessories where you can actually change the color of the accessory. It is linked to the third color on your color palette. And it's a pretty cool looking accessory. Obviously, it fits more with a water team or a character or an, uh, a character for a character based on an Atlantis character. But it is a pretty cool accessory nonetheless. Also, there are two ways you can purchase these accessories. The first one is again with the supplier Sibyl, but you can also buy it and sell it on the broker. And what question that often, often comes back also is how can you make money in this universe online? This would be how. You could purchase the constricting eels from the Atlantis vendor and then sell it on the broker. Like you can see right now, the price on the broker is 90 million. I have to give my usual broker warning. Prices on the broker changes all the time. These are the prices on the broker right now, tomorrow, next month, next week, heck, later tonight, the prices could be different. So this is the accessory we can get from Supplier Sibyl. So now let us go to the Argus Supply Officer and take a look at some more accessories. So the next one we'll take a look at is the Shadow Haunted Flame accessory. In this case, it cost 200 source marks. Not sure why it is a bit more expensive than the eels, but anyway. Uh, and in this case, you can see in the description, it is account bound. So sadly, this is one example of an accessory that you can purchase, but you cannot sell it on a broker. So you won't be able to purchase it on a broker either. But you could purchase it, let's say, with one character, and then use your shared bank to give it to another one character. So let's show you a nice preview of the accessory. So you can see it's three globes of energy that kind of floats uh, a bit behind your character. It's not a bad accessory, but I have to admit, I haven't used it very much uh, so far. And the next accessory is the Mystical Ankh of Naboo, which cost 200 source marks. And of course, again, it is account bound, so you could buy it and give it to another one of your character, but you cannot uh, buy it and sell it on the broker. So you can see here the Mystical Ankh of Naboo. For those of you who may not know, Naboo is the Lord of Order, who is also Dr. Fate. It's a pretty cool looking accessory. Obviously, if you have a Dr. Fate type character, you will want to have that accessory with your Dr. Fate character. At this point, we have a few, uh, a few items from our friend Naboo, uh, not just the accessory. We have uh, the, the Dr. Fate gloves, the Naboo cape, the Naboo belt. Uh, we also had the Ankh emblem for pretty much forever at this point. And we do have a Dr. Fate uh, type of headpiece. It's not exactly Dr. Fate, but uh, within the context of DC Universe Online, it's as close as we can get. And next, we can take a look at our friend Detective McNulty, right next to the metal Gotham City uh, portal. So here we have the Merciless Drachma accessory for 150 source marks. So again, you saw the price. The price started at 150 source marks with the eels. It went to 200 source marks with the, the Chaos Gotham vendor. And now it goes down back to 150 source marks. Not sure why the fluctuation in prices. There has to be a reason somewhere. I just, I just couldn't tell you, tell you what it is. And here you can see also the accessory is account bound. So sadly, you will not be able to buy it or sell it on the broker. I'm a bit surprised. I could have sworn I saw it on the broker uh, at some point eons ago. I guess I must be mistaken. So basically it's a coin with the, the Merciless uh, face engraved into it, which floats above your character. It's a pretty cool looking uh, accessory. 
And you also have one of my favorite accessories, the T-Spheres accessories. Again, it's 150 source marks, and also it is account bound. So there we have the T-Spheres. When we got the accessories, and at some point when we got the black hole accessories, uh, where it was uh, pretty much three balls floating around your character, it was obvious that sooner or later we would get the T-Spheres accessory. And uh, once we got the Metal Part 1 uh, DLC, we finally got the T-Spheres. I guess the next step would be to have the T-Sphere Trinket, uh, maybe someday. So that pretty much covers our friend Detective McNulty, and that pretty much covers also the accessories we can get using Source Marks. So for the next few accessories, we will have to take a look at the Wonderverse Supply Ball Alpha, that is part of the Wonderverse DLC. So for the Wonderverse missions, you need a combat rating of 299. Eventually, you are going to be able to use source marks uh, to purchase items from, from the Wonderverse Supply Bot Alpha, but that will be sometime in the future, probably uh, late next summer, maybe late next fall. So the first one is the Source Shard Crown. It's 150 splintered coins. Again, in order to be able to get splintered coins, you have to be able to play Wonderverse missions. And when you take a look at the Source Shard Crown in the Style tab, you can see it's a bit, there's a bit of a glitch. But it shouldn't be an issue when we look at the actual character. So on the character you can see the source crown is at its proper place just above the head of the character. And it's a pretty cool looking uh, headpiece or accessory I should say. And it's something that people had been asking ever, ever since we saw the, we saw this crown on uh, Zeus, oh, I forget in which mission, and ever since we saw that crown on the Zeus character uh, a lot of people were asking for it to be either a style or an accessory. And now, here we are. Then there is the Omega Face Shield for 150 Splinter Coins. Also, you'll notice uh, the Source Shard and the Omega Face Shield are account bound. So you can purchase them with one character and give them to any one of your character on your account. But you cannot buy them or sell them on a broker, sadly. And the Omega Face Shield is a pretty cool, pretty cool looking accessory. I'm sure you saw it before, I've used it uh, quite a few times, uh, so you probably saw it in some of my previous videos. So basically it's the Omega Emblem that floats above the face of your character. So if you saw my Dark Side character, you saw it. Uh, you saw me use it before, but even uh, with my Multiverse character, for, for a bit I had, uh, I had at least one armory that was using this, uh, this accessory. I love this accessory, it looks, uh, it looks pretty awesome. And last but not least, there's the Probe Tech Vendobot 2000. Uh, right now everyone has access to the vendor and also everyone has access to the currency needed to purchase from the vendor bot but in about two weeks when we get the new dlc you will have to be combat rating 310 to be able to get the currency you need to purchase from this vendor can i help you into some new gear so the first accessory we can see from this vendor is the shadow runic hand accessory it costs 400 time beacons uh, the time beacons are the currency you get when you play the legion bounties so you will have to play the legion bounties over and over and over in order to be able to purchase this accessory and sadly in order to be able to play the legion bounties you will have to you will need to have access to the legion open world map right now everyone has access to it but in about two weeks you will need combat rating 310 to be able to gain access to this map and as you can see sadly i did not purchase it just yet so i can only show it to you here we already had some uh, runic hand accessories uh, before. Actually, it used to be an aura, and uh, but now they've made it also into an accessory. And now we have the runic hand accessory in addition to those we already had. And the next accessory we have is the Eye of Ekron accessory. It is, it is also 400 time beacons, and it is also account bound. As sadly as you can see, I don't have it with this character, but, but I do have the accessory with my evil Emerald Empress character. So you can see it's a pretty freaky looking eye that uh, follows your character around. I love it. I had made this character before. Uh, basically I had made this character so that I could uh, use it with the Watcher ability from the, uh, the Sorcery Powers. But as it turns out, not only do we have the Watcher, now we have an official Eye of Ekron accessory that can follow our character around. So we can have two eyes with our Emerald Empress if we use the Sorcery Power. So these are some pretty cool accessories you can get. And even as a free-to-play player, there is no reason, no reason at all why you cannot farm and farm and farm for source marks 
and purchase some of those accessories. And in the long run, eventually the Wonderverse vendor will also require source marks in the long run. Right now, you have to be able to play the Wonderverse bounties to be able to purchase from the Wonderverse vendor. But sooner or later, the Wonderverse vendor will also require source marks. So again, if you want to purchase some of those accessories, just farm and farm for source marks. And there's no reason why you cannot purchase those, even if you are a free-to-play player. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.